Ways to avoid paying unreasonable car dealer fees. But as J.D. Power says, some fees are unavoidable. If so, which ones do they say are the most common and likely to be unavoidable? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, joined today by the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Liz, even though prices and vehicle upkeep costs have sharply risen throughout the years of the pandemic, and we did see some continued increases even after it ended, demand for vehicles remains relatively strong. But friends, that doesn't mean that people don't want to get back to buying vehicles for reasonable amounts of money. Right. And no one can blame car buyers for that. There are multiple ways in which the final price gets bigger. Destination charges, documentation fees, and some state sales tax are just some of the reasons for this. Even if some of these are justifiable, every buyer can't help but wonder if these hidden costs can be avoided. Let's start with fees that the experts over at J.D. Power say you can't avoid. For years, we've said the only unavoidable fees are simply the fees from your local state government. And with some dealers out there, those are still the only fees you'll ever be asked to pay. However, some dealers are so deeply entrenched with given fees that they regard some of them as completely non-negotiable. You might have encountered a dealer like this, and the truth is, you're unlikely to be able to buy a car from that type of dealer without paying some fees. Some dealers claim there are laws that require them to charge the fees they have, but that doesn't mean that you can't still defend yourself against them. If any dealer ever says this to you, you should always demand that they produce evidence of the state law requiring such charges. When you read the state statute on dealer fees, if such a law even exists, be on the lookout for the word if in the language, as in a phrase that reads, if the dealer charges a given fee, they must charge all customers the same. The use of the word if means that the state isn't actually mandating that the dealer charge a given fee. Think of it this way. If a parent tells a child, if you go outside, you must wear a jacket. Does the child have to wear a jacket if they stay inside? No, only if they go outside. In the same way, the state law in most cases falls short of telling the dealer they are obligated to charge their customers fees. It simply says, if they charge you a fee, they must charge you the same amount they've charged others before you. Both Liz and I have successfully used this defense against paying a given dealer fee. Now let's discuss more what the experts over at J.D. Power refer to as unavoidable fees. Yes, in the minds of some dealers, there are hidden costs that should be passed on to the buyer in the form of a fee, so they are often present in many relevant pieces of paperwork they produce. As Kevin said, and I feel compelled to repeat, it's always been interesting to me that the practice of charging fees doesn't exist at all dealerships, even in the same state that another dealer might say that they have to charge a fee because of a state law. And without a doubt, the most savvy and well-timed negotiators can still get rid of the fees that we are sharing that J.D. Power says are unavoidable. That's what makes this conversation most interesting. In addition, if you buy at the right time, usually near the end of the month, you have a chance of avoiding some of these unavoidable fees. Unavoidable fee number one, destination charges are something that we've talked about in previous shows. Essentially, this is the dealership passing you the bill for delivery of the vehicle from the plant to the dealership. Manufacturers ship all cars for a fee and set up price for this service, which is usually a standardized fee. You do have to pay it, but there's something to be aware of with this fee too. Check the Monroney window sticker. If the destination fee is listed on it, it's already included in the cost of the car. In that case, if you allow the dealer to put a destination fee as a line item on your contract, you're paying the fee twice. So don't get burned paying it twice. That second payment just goes into the dealer's pocket and puts a great big smile on their face. <laughs> fee number two, documentation fee, is what many say is the cost of the dealer handling your paperwork. Usually it's a set amount limited by your state of residence that can typically range between $75 to $500 unless you're in Florida where this fee can easily hit $950. And then to add insult to injury, many Florida dealers double dip on this fee by also charging you an electronic filing fee. Here you should check out local laws and question any amount that is much more than the standardized fee I just mentioned. Fee number three, the state title and registration fee is something that in most states you could elect to pay voluntarily after the sale. We've just never done that because dealerships usually have a good working relationship with the local DMV and you can easily get the title, registration, tags, and plates. You will have to pay a certain amount, but on the other hand, it saves you the headache of doing it yourself. Just don't let them get away with estimating those state fees because they always round up and sometimes buy a lot. 
Number four, then there's the state sales tax. You don't have to worry about it if it's not a standard tax in your state because after all, there are still five states with no general statewide sales tax. New Hampshire, Oregon, Montana, Alaska, and Delaware. However, if you buy a car in one of these no sales tax states, you will still have to pay sales tax when registering the vehicle in your own home state. That's right. Generally, that's always the way sales tax works. You pay it in your home state if your state has sales tax. If you're shopping out of state, it's advisable to remind the dealer that you're in town just for the purchase, showing proof of residency so there will be no overcharges. The big question is, why do dealers have fees in the first place? And if they are so desperately needed, why do some dealers easily survive without any fees? Because no-fee dealers do definitely exist out there. These are great questions that we've asked for a very long time. Well, according to J.D. Power, they say that as with any other business in the U.S., Dealerships have to profit from each sale. J.D. Power explains that is why they will always include fees somewhere along the way for the customers to pay. But if this statement by J.D. Power was true, well, what's going on with these no-fee dealers? Does J.D. Power think that those no-fee dealers are non-profit dealerships? <laughs> There's plenty of evidence they make a very nice profit without those fees. While some fees are unavoidable at some dealerships, you can save money by insisting on removing any extra services offered. Additionally, good old haggling and good timing, like at the end of the month purchasing, is always an option if you feel the fees are too much. Whatever the case, be mindful of what you're paying for and try to cut the price whenever possible. Now here are fees that even J.D. Power agrees can be avoided. For example, dealers often try to tack on extra charges and services with your purchase, which can easily be labeled as fees. Giving pushback and opting out of them can save you considerable amounts of money, so always be on the lookout for opportunities for things like this. Dealer prep charges, it's similar to the delivery charge and sometimes can be found on the unofficial sticker, like an addendum sticker. In essence, dealers say it stems from a host of things, listing prices and finalizing the sale, and even cleaning the car. But to demonstrate that cleaning the car is a part of dealer's retail price, the term that's used in book values for cars is called clean retail. That doesn't stop a greedy dealer from asking to be paid more for something they are already being paid for in the retail price. But seriously, dealer prep should never be an additional expense and we encourage you to challenge it when it shows up in the retail price. In addition to dealer prep fees, another favorite and completely avoidable upcharge is fabric protection. You must pay this fee only if you want the dealership workers to use spray cans on your seats. And it's like kids. It is. I say it like that because that's all it is. It sounds logical on paper, but you will be significantly overcharged for it, and I will promise you the fabric will become damaged anyway. Absolutely. You could park the vehicle in the shade, use a windshield sun protector, or, or purchase seat covers. All of these options would be much more effective than a spray can. Of course, there's good old paint protection, too. <laughs> you should know by now that all manufacturers use high-quality paint for their cars. Any kind of protection doesn't make sense here. Plus, a new vehicle's paint is protected by warranty if things like flaking and rust should occur. That brings us to rust proofing and undercoating. Your vehicle should do just fine in any kind of weather, especially its underside, which is usually made from galvanized and already protected metal. The truth is that normal washing and waxing is plenty enough to protect your vehicle. Next up is the notorious VIN etching, something we called the scam of the decade years ago. What is VIN etching? Well, according to dealers and other advocates of it, it's a handy anti-theft measure. As with anything else that falls on a dealer's product list, you will be significantly overcharged for it. And it's much better to have an outside source like a police officer or a technician in an auto shop do it for far less. Additionally, if you really want it, you can even do it yourself by just buying a cheap kit from places like Amazon. Of course, we don't agree with everything J.D. Power says, so we made several modifications to their report. And the fact that J.D. Power maintains that dealers must charge fees to make a profit tells us, as it should tell you, that J.D. Power is in bed with car dealers. To our point in the state of Florida, where dealers routinely gouge buyers with huge fees, there are several standout dealers who don't play that game at all. Dealers like Mullinex, who unabashedly advertise no fees at all. But Mullinex takes it a step further. They even go so far as to out their fee-charging competitors by publishing a list of fee-charging dealers in Florida. All right, friends, that's a wrap on the fee portion of the show today, but we still have great value for your head in this show, so don't go away. I want to give you a heads up that on Saturday, we are covering a bunch of smoking hot deals on new Chevy Silverado trucks available in the state of Kentucky. And I can promise you that these deals are so good, some of you will want to jump on a plane and travel there just to meet our man on the ground, Jake. 
we've had many great conversations with Jake, and we can promise you he is totally on board with us, as is his dealer owner, providing an easy, hassle-free car buying experience that we've promised you. Imagine going to the dealer with every number already hashed out, in writing, on paper. No strong-arm tactics of negotiation to go through. On Saturday, we will be sharing an inventory list of vehicles Jake provided to us that have been significantly reduced, so you know what you're looking at up front. They are priced to move right at dealer invoice, and they even have manufacturer incentives to boot, depending on you and your zip code, so they are nowhere near MSRP. Any dealer or car salesman out there who says, hey, I can do that too with my inventory, should reach out to us immediately at 701-441-3399. For those of you just entering the car market, maybe for the first time in a while, you should be aware of all the free resources we have for you on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. The amount of help we can offer you is unlimited. And by the way, if you feel so inclined to show us some love with a small donation today, what we'd appreciate most is a donation to the nonprofit that we launched to help children. An online option has been set up on Give, Send, Go, and all credit cards and bank cards are currently accepted. The link is appearing on the screen and can be found in the description box below. It's also on our website. Yes, friends, on thehomeworkguide.com is where you'll find a free car buyer's guide a list of better dealers and dealers we believe you should completely avoid. And by the way, if you've had a really bad dealer experience, make sure you send it to us. We'll include it on that bad dealers list. And if you're shopping on your own, we've got free email templates for you to use with car dealers. There's also a list of fake fees there. It's all there on the homeworkguide.com. Free for you to download when car shopping. On our website and on our Facebook pages where we will announce the launch of the call center we mentioned in previous shows. Totally looking forward to doing that. And coming this month will be an opportunity for memberships here on YouTube. Memberships will include invoice-priced cars we are aware of around the country, too. We have been taking time to put these memberships together because we want to offer great value to our viewers. The memberships will allow for much improved access to both me and Kevin, and we do very much enjoy direct contact with our viewers. More on that in the days ahead. And watch for the coming book for car buyers with the help of a new staff member and sales contacts like Jake that we have around the country. It will be published first as an ebook. That's right, it will be the best car buyer's manual ever published, and we have the direct involvement of several people who have spent the last several years immersed in the dealership business model and are currently working with dealers and who know that business model inside and out. Together, our team knows exactly where the car market is right now with a variety of brands, and we have powerful tools to help you win on your next car deal. As you see, we're constantly improving the value to viewers of hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. and. Give this video a like if you appreciate what we did here for you today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team in our show, is where you'll find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And if you just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Make sure you don't miss our Saturday show, friends. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.